Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. I'm Johnny Mac. And for those of you that are returning subscribers, welcome back to new, another New World video. So today I have some very, very interesting information. In my travels across the YouTube interwebs and searching of information, as I normally always do, because not everybody can keep up on everything 100% of the time, I stumbled on some very, very intriguing information. Upgrading items to Legendary with Umbrella Shards. Now, for those of you that have been keeping up with the developer post, the devs stated that we would not be able to take items from 590 to 600 and turn them into Legendaries. They said that it just wouldn't happen and they wouldn't get their third perk. But apparently that wasn't entirely true. In good AGS fashion, apparently not all the pertinent information was relayed to every member involved. And apparently there is a way to get legendaries, guys, from the Umbrella Shard system. So let's go ahead and read about this, shall we? So the latest PTR update reduces the gear score requirement for using Umbrella Shards from 600 to 590. We all knew this, and it was a very welcomed change. Now, this also introduces a side effect which allows you to convert some items from Epic to Legendary. Those are items that come with a preset perk list, mostly named items, where you lose the last perk unless it is 600 gear score. Such items are Infamy, we're all familiar with, Will of the Ancients, Beginning, Featherweight Ring, Doom's Chance Earring, and those are just to name a few. Upgrading these kind of items to 600 gear score using Umbrella Shards will unlock the fifth perk slot. And as those of you that you might be confused to say, oh, well, there's no five, there's no five slots. It's, it's only three. Well, there's a technical aspect to this and we'll read about that here in just a second. The technical explanation. Let's start with some basics. Items can have up to five, not three perk slots from a technical point of view. Attributes and gems or gem slots are just perks. The maximum amount of perks on an item can have is decided by its tier and its gear score. A tier 5 item needs 600 gear score for it to be able to have the last perk slot unlocked, which is needed for legendary items. That's the fifth slot. The gear score perk count system is used in two different ways. When dropping, crafting, or obtaining in any way an item with random perks, you will only roll for the eligible perk buckets based on the item's gear score, which is rolled before the perks. When items have a preset list of perks, the system is still used to disable non-eligible perks. This is what happens to, for example, Infamy when it's below 600 gear score. Case number two is what we're interested in. Even if the gear score is too low for the last perk, the perk itself is still attached to the item compared to case number one where it isn't. The perk gets disabled. If you use Umbrella Shards to bump up the item's gear score to 600, it will unlock the last perk slot, which already has predefined perk inside, and the item becomes legendary. This case applies to every single item in the game, which has a preset perk list where the last perk just gets disabled due to low gear score. There's also some fixed gear score items like guillotine, which can also be upgraded to legendary. AGS is probably going to remove the last perk on these. They already did that with the needler, which no longer has refreshing move on the PTR. Now, those of you might be like, well, it's not confirmed by the devs and so forth and so on. Well, it actually is. Um, K from AGS uh, actually confirmed uh, today at 8, 12 p.m., whatever that may have been. It was probably yesterday. Uh, not a bug. What are your thoughts on it? So very interesting information there. Now, for those of you that are still naysayers and say, oh, well, I'll believe it whenever I see it. Well, here we go. So big shout out to Five Head Survival Gaming. I will be leaving a link in the description below to his channel, to this video. He is the one that actually tested it and he's actually the one that I stumbled upon first. So let's go ahead and maximize this screen and we will play this video. Now let's upgrade Wild Ambition. This is a very common hatchet you probably have gotten and salvaged a dozen times. You get it from Elite Supply Chests.
and surprisingly, it upgrades fairly cheaply also. Now let's take it to 600. Oh, there it is. Right in front of your eyes. 600 gear score. Legendary with the perk. Done. And he's going to do the exact same thing with the Tempest. It was originally 597. He's going to upgrade it to 599. And then from 599, he is going to upgrade it to 600 and unlock the third perk. Or, sorry, the fifth perk. And boom, there it is. Legendary. Uh, <laughs> very, very interesting stuff. It's hard to believe that this is what it is, basically. But the implications of this is going to change the landscape of pretty much everything in the game, right? Uh, whether it's a catch-up mechanic, I don't really know. It's going to be interesting to see if there's any more information put out on this. Um, one thing I'm not looking forward to is I'm not looking forward to uh, 20 people running Infamy <laughs> in OPR. Uh, it's bad enough on my server. On Pleroma, we actually have, um, I do believe, probably about three uh, players that have a 600 gear score Infamy, and they hurt a lot like really, really bad. If you're running anything other than heavy, and even in heavy armor, the infamy with a proper build is absolutely devastating. Um, so having a full squad of musket users running infamies, oh, man, it's going to hurt really, really bad. So let me know what you guys think about this. You know, is this something that you guys are okay with? Do you think it's needed? I know that on my server in Pleroma, our economy is pretty insane like the amount of inflation is just absolutely out of control some things are still really cheap and around a good baseline and in line with other servers and then there are other things where it's just like holy hell like how are you even gonna buy that like who has that much money i don't know I, i'm not exactly sure how i feel about this w one part of me wants to really like this uh aspect and another part i'm just like ooh man I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what to think. So let me know what you guys think down in the description below. Let's have a conversation about this. I'm really, really curious to know what you guys think about this change. And as always, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to see more videos from me, smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a ton and it would mean the absolute world to me. We are almost, we are almost 1,000 subscribers. If you like streams, I do a lot of streaming over on Twitch. You can find that link down below as well. I'm going to start scheduling more streaming here on my YouTube channel. So I do appreciate you guys watching this video. And as always, I'll see you in the new world.